Hey there, Captain. Anything I can do for you? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board, that is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. Relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't likely to look too close at your work history either. Are you pulling my leg? You must be one of them long-haul freighters from outside the colony. Well, I won't hold it against you. Goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the Board. Yep, Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the Board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing bays. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing, a few years before her sister ship, the Hope. Once everybody'd been de-thawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now, here we are. Sitting around drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. Glad to help. If you're thinking to make a career here, don't waste your time. Full-time jobs on Groundbreaker tend to be inherited, or go to a fellow crew member's kid. Keep it in the family, you know. Alright. You noticed, huh? What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit, especially not when it might impact their bottom line. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top in manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Sure thing. Be seeing you.